Hey, what's up guys? I'm Matt. You may have known me from my website, whoismatt.com. Uh, today is going to be a really nerdy video. Um, about as nerdy as the last video that I did, which was, oh man, that was about a year ago. Uh, it was all about the Sony AVC HD format and uh, in, in regards to its quality. Uh, today, though, I'm going to be showing you the exact encoding settings that you will be needing to use to make a really high quality YouTube video that utilizes the new uh, widescreen player format. And this is really useful if you shoot in AVC HD, if you have a camera that uses Sony's AVC HD, or uh, generally uh, any sort of camera actually, it doesn't really matter what, if you have that type of camera or not, because the settings will make it look just really good. Um, you, also, it's looking like YouTube's moving toward a uh, 720p HD streaming. You can Google that if you want to. Uh, so basically, you're going to be ending up with something that's going to look like this here. If you look at this here, the uh, this is with the uh, high quality version, and the video is really um, well. It may not be very smooth with this streaming software on, but you can tell the individual leaves there and it fills the entire screen which is kind of what we're going for here so to get that what you are going to need is two things first of all you're going to obviously need Sony Vegas which is right here I'm using version 7 but you can actually download version 8 from the sonycreativesoftware.com website slash Vegas Pro you can click here, download the free trial. I think it lasts for about 30 days. Regardless, it will be plenty for whatever you're wanting to edit. And you're also going to need the DivX video codec, which you can download off of DivX.com for free. Just download and install that and make sure that you have Sony Vegas and we'll get started here. If you're using 8, it's really basically the same thing. You shouldn't see very many differences at all. So to start off here, we're going to be going over here, go to File, Select New, ignore that, and you're going to, for the template, you're going to want to select HDV 720-30p, which is the HD widescreen 720p format. Uh, just make sure that looks good. The field order, make sure it's set to progressive scan, otherwise you're going to end up with interlaced video if you're shooting in ABC HD. In terms of full resolution rendering quality, you're going to want to change that to best, and everything else should be good. You're going to go ahead and press OK there, and so now you have your new project open. You're going to want to go to File, Import, Media, and I'm going to import two clips here, this Flare 2 clip and this Brian Sinister clip here. Okay, now that we have these two clips imported finally, uh, this Brian Sinister clip that I have right here, this is actually filmed in the AVC HD format. It's the M2TS. Uh, that's the file format that AVC HD uses. We're going to drag that up there to the project thing. And this is a clip of me playing around with a fireball. This has actually been all pre edited and everything using After Effects, and it's it's a cool looking little clip there. The uh, only problem is that this clip is 700 megabytes and it's only about 5 seconds long. So we're not only going to help you out if you need to edit uh, the AVC HD format, but you can also end up with much, much smaller video size it, uh, file sizes while still keeping the quality up very well. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to have these two imported. You're going to want to, you can go ahead and edit however you want. You know, you're talking about splitting clips here and deleting random crap and just generally making the entire uh, edit your video clip as you go there so now that we have that all uh, edited which is probably the most shoddy editing job that I've ever done in my life you're gonna go to file and you're going to click render and just a little side note here I usually select the uh, video section of the video that I'm uh, want to edit so that's what that little dragging of that yellow bar was up there because I generally like to uh, sometimes I would run into the issue of the video not rendering entirely completely so that makes sure that the video that the program knows render that exact section right there so now we have our little uh, 
video uh, save box here for the rendering. So you're going to name it, uh, let's see here, quality, uh, let's see, here, yeah, T YouTube or something like that, doesn't really matter, because I'm just showing you how to do it. You're going to want to save it as the video for Windows file type, which you'll notice that I have right there, .avi file format. Uh, you'll notice that the template, I have something called YouTube, which we'll be going into here in just a moment. Uh, by default, it's going to be on HDV 720-30p intermediate, which is the output that you're basically looking at there. There's all the settings. Uh, make sure that you have render loop region only, which basically um, it only selects the yellow bar part that I was telling you about, so make sure you have that checked. Leave everything else just as it is. You're going to want to... Now, um, here's where the encoding comes in. You're going to want to click Custom here. Whenever you select Custom, you're going to notice that this window pop up, pops up with some tabs down here. You're going to want to go up here to Video Rendering Quality and select Best. Then you want to click the Video tab, and this is where the encoding all is going to take place. Now, once you have the Video tab open, you're going to want to make sure that the frame size is set to the HTV 720, which is the 720p. Make sure it's set to progressive scan, and what you're going to mainly want to pay attention to here is the video format option here. You're going to want to go down, and since you installed DivX, you're going to want to select the DivX 6.8.5 codec. So once you have that selected, you're going to click configure. Once you do that, it will bring up the DivX properties window here. You are going to want to pay attention to only the first page. You can ignore all these other tabs, which is wonderful. You're going to want to, uh, for the certification profile, make sure that you select 720 HD profile. If you do not select that, then the entire encoding process will fail. We'll just leave it on the quality setting of about 8 here. That should be plenty, and it gives it a 3000 kilobit bitrate, which is one, which will just work perfectly fine. Select OK. And then for the audio, you are going to want to select MPEG layer 3. Otherwise, you will run into some errors with uh, the YouTube not being able to handle the video syncing with the audio. Uh, I ran into this with one of my earlier videos. I'll include a link so you can see. And once that's done, you're going to... Okay, you're completely done with this here now. You're going to want to go up here to the top, and you're going to want... For the template, you're going to want to name it YouTube, for example, which is what I named mine. So we'll do YouTube HQ, and then you select Save, and it saves it as a preset. So now instead of you having to go through, and every single time you render out a video having to go through and select all the customization settings. Instead, you just have YouTube HQ selected here. So, now that that is all done, you're just going to click Save, and it will begin rendering, which should take anywhere, well, for that, it's probably going to take about five minutes to render out, and I'm not going to make you sit through all that, don't worry. You'll see here that instead of ending up with a 711 megabyte uncompressed AVI file, or a... 20 megabyte ABCHD file, you end up with a roughly 3 megabyte little video. If you want to see an example of how any of the uh, videos look encoded in that, I've encoded all of my videos in that on my website, which you can find at whoismat.com. Thanks for watching. I really hope you guys found this video useful and that you'll actually end up using it and have as much success with Vegas and editing and rendering as I have had. And as always, this video will be downloadable in high quality, high definition on my website at whoismat.com. If you end up using the tutorial and you enjoy it and enjoy working uh, and it works well for you, uh, feel free to post up whatever video you've created as a response to this one. That would be really cool. And uh, just let me know if you have any questions or comments. Leave them on here on my website, and I should get them. Uh, yeah, you guys have a great day. And I will should have another video up within about a week, tops. So, later!